All right, next one is the line, uh, interactive story something. I know that it's with hand tracking, so we're gonna be doing that. But it's kind of funny, you know, switching between uh, controllers and your hands as, con as, you know, just your means of operating the quest. It's like funny that I feel like hand tracking is gonna become more and more used. <laughs> I don't know, it's just like, you know, Quest is a really interesting device Not, like, now. It kind of like does it all, like it's crazy. Okay. ARVORE, I, wait, I, f I think I know this company. I'm not, I don't re remember what they did the game, but they did one game on, that's on Quest for sure now. What do we have here? Okay, so of course, subtitles. Uh, Englander, and let's go. Uh, I mean, it's just experience internet for you to use your body movement at its full capacity. I mean, <laughs> recommended play area of 2.52. Okay, we will be fine. I mean, either I will fall from my bed or not. That's pretty much it. Sit on the yellow circle facing direction of the arrow. Wait, what? <laughs> um, so I will sit on the floor pretty much. Wait. <laughs> okay, well, okay, sure. God damn. But it's not like you're gonna see me on the camera. Okay, whatever. What's options? Okay, no. That's weird. It's the first game that actually like forced me to change position. Okay, well, the camera is empty then. Whatever, that's fine. Please leave your shoes here. What about my butt? <laughs> Why in this position? Why it wasn't front facing or something? Not so long ago. We kept memories in photo albums, remember? Why don't you try to turn the pages? Let's see what it hides inside. Mm -hmm. Some records can show who we are, the ones we love, how we live. But some memories can't fit in a photo. Okay. And jump scare. Ah, oh, okay, well... <laughs> so we're just... Oh, wow. <laughs> my legs, my knees, okay. In a world of miniatures, routine is everything. Oh, okay. God damn it. <laughs> oh, it's barely... Okay. No. Every cycle is exactly the same. The tram schedule never changes. The blue car always crosses the rails in the same direction, and so it goes. Traffic guard Washington always stops the tram right before the green car arrives. Want to bet? In three, two, one. Haha! <laughs> because of the road. Then. <laughs> okay. <laughs> See? Then he greets Mrs. Campos. Oddly enough, she waters her garden once every cycle, even though not a single drop of water comes out of the hose. She doesn't even notice. Routine. Well, it may be too repetitive for some, but not for Pedro, the paper boy. He quite enjoys a life without surprises. Even the newspapers he delivers bring the same news every time. Proud of his articulated legs, Pedro is the only doll who can ride across the entire model. Okay. Pretty much interactional story, just pull, you know, mechanisms. But he always rides on the same track, the one and lonely track. Every cycle he picks up the same lucky message from the crank organ player on the street. <laughs> Ok, 
God damn, that's loud. Happy are those who are on the right track. As someone who has lived his whole life on the same track, he agrees. But sometimes, to stay on the same track, Pedro has to wait for the tram to pass. It seems like we're like in a warehouse, I guess with whole models. I would not be surprised if uh, at the end of the game we'll be like, you know, reveal the whole world or something. Okay, change to the tracks. Okay. I'm gonna fall from my bed so fucking At one fast. Point, Pedro allowed himself a small transgression. He took a yellow flower from a tree. But even a little break like that, if repeated thousands of times, will eventually become routine. There's just only one flower left. Okay, we need to... Now. Okay. Pedro would not change a single thing. Well, maybe just a tiny little thing. Whoa, whoa. He would work up the courage to declare his love for Rosa, the florist. Completely in love with her. <laughs> yeah, just planted. He always promised himself that he would speak to Hosa. He told himself that if the church bell rings before the tram leaves, he would speak to her. That if the dog barks two times, <clears throat> I mean three times, if the dog barks three times, he <laughs> would speak to her. But he also knew the next cycle was always around the corner, so he could delay it until then. Meanwhile, Pedro convinces himself that simply <laughs> that yellow flower would do. What is this mechanism? <laughs> Only someone like Pedro would think that a flower is a creative gift for a florist. But as it turned out, <laughs> the yellow flower meant the world to Hosa. Proud of her articulated arms, Hosa is the only doll who can grow flowers. Although yellow is her favorite color, thorny red flowers are her real work. But someone out there seems to know that Rosa would like her life to be different. Maybe in the next cycle, the yellow flower would bring her the one she has been waiting for. What do you mean? Another cycle begins and once again everything is the same. The tram still arrives at the same time, the blue car crosses the rails again. Traffic guard Washington never fails to stop the tram right before the green car arrives. Okay. And then he greets Mrs. Campos. Courtesy above all. I feel like I'm starting to trip. <laughs> and it is another day for Pedro. Like always, he delivers one newspaper. Uh -huh. And another. <laughs> I feel weird. <laughs> He's sure both of them bring good news. The same news. Ow. Uh... The message okay. is still the same. Happy are those who are on the right track. Pedro agrees. Okay. <laughs> What's, what's happening? <laughs> and again, he gives way to the tram. Is he gonna turn like complete psycho at the end of the the same, just like it has always been. There's no flower. The oh, it's not. Well, on this day, Pedro learned something new. After so many cycles plucking yellow flowers, they finally run out. Confused. He follows the same old path. Okay. For the very first time, he does not leave a yellow flower for Hosa. By the way, flowers do don't grow on trees. And Hosa <laughs> Let's be clear. that the flower will come if she waits a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a tiny little bit. Maybe the one she's waiting for will gather the courage to appear. Mm. But duty calls, and Hosa keeps living a thorny life. What's happening? <laughs> S 
so much work growing flowers for other people's love stories. Stupid people with stupid ah, love stories and with roses. flowers. Who needs flowers after all? <laughs> I feel weird, not gonna lie. Pedro believes he will lose Rosa and nothing will ever make sense again. What if she no longer cared about him? And today, of all days, when he was finally ready to give it a shot and talk to her. Not true. Maybe. Right. <laughs> Even the crank organ lost its charm. Happy are those who are on the right track. <laughs> Stupid message. Stupid crank organ. But wait, wait. Oh God. What if the right track is actually a detour. What if love is an unknown path after all? Bravo, bravo, my dear Pedro. You've just found the very last yellow flower for Rosa. As they say, fortuna audacis sequitur, which means if my Latin isn't too rusty, fortune favors the bold. Some strong legs is going uphill with only a be bike there. It could only be a uh, terrible idea. Of course. Woohoo! Wait, what the fuck? <laughs> it's a literal hole. Hello? Oh. Okay. <laughs> a lamp inside the flower wait what huh. <laughs> wood Okay, I think we should be Gucci. Now, there's a wall. Yeah, throw it. Throw my hand. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> no, fuck. Okay, well, through editing you won't notice this at all, but I had to replay the whole fucking sequence because I couldn't change the set. No, wait. Are you kidding me? Oh, fuck, I want to do it again because the setting is like... Come on! It's so close! I had to change to the sitting setting, but like... Come on! Oh, fuck. It's too far for a... Uh, sitting experience. I, I just pretty much had to change because I could not like change it in... Oh my god, fucking hell. What the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> Can we help? Um. Why? <laughs> Ah, oh, because he had to climb with both hands. Okay. Sucks. Damn, even the music. Alright. After all he went through, Pedro no longer has his bike, but he walks on his own two feet. He does not have a yellow flower, but he has decided to talk to Rosa, even if all the signs say otherwise. Okay.
that's actually a good idea. <laughs> but it's night. <laughs> but Hosa is not there. And Pedro does not know what to do or where to start looking for her. Mm -hmm. Until he sees a yellow flower. And then another. Wait, what the hell? And then another one. Was she plant planting it or something? Pedro, who has always oh, yeah, okay. calm waters, is in need of a windstorm, a cyclone, a tornado. Pedro and Hosa need no introductions. Hosa said she kept all the yellow flowers. Okay. Each and every day. She waited for him to show up. When the flower never came, she understood. It was time for her to get out there and look for him. Pedro had to get to know her garden. Now Pedro <laughs> can paddle all over the model, and Hosa can be their guide. Together, they can go further. Yeah, see the whole workshop. Have you ever felt like you were living in a ceaseless repetition? Hmm, depends. <laughs> Seems like that's it. <laughs> oh god, and now first person. Routine is everything. But with a little bit of courage, you can change it. After all, <laughs> walking the line is not enough. Sometimes you have to draw it as you go. <laughs> do we do something else? I don't think so. The Ando? The Ando? Okay, well. Probably credits and stuff like that. Okay, well. I mean, it's definitely a cute experience. I am actually very impressed by hand tracking. It's probably one of the best um, iterations of that, even though it's like still fresh on the Quest Store. I feel like because the game was built from the ground up for hand tracking, there's really high attention to detail. Wait, what the hell was that? Wait, we can choose settings? Oh, well. Whatever. <laughs> okay, well, I like the animation. It's like, it's like the message behind it is very like subtle. Like you can't really kind of overthink it. Pretty much the whole uh, like thought <laughs> that you should just leave it with this game is just that you know, routine is not a way to live it pretty much that's pretty much the whole message behind it um cute i don't know how long it was 20 uh, 10 minutes 15 minutes similar to e elixir but this one is more like something to think about <laughs> and that was pretty much it hey that i i i enjoyed it nonetheless hand tracking uh, aside the uh, cool story wait so actually i had settings here wait oh i it's kind of like your hand has to turn blue in order to activate the actual button for settings. I guess that's what uh, kind of in Waltz was a problem. So it's like you have to just see th that the icon of course will appear and then leave. Okay. Good enough for the future then. But yeah. <laughs> 